Arkansas, Arkansas, Arkansas. How? That's my question. How? How do you expect to lose to Louisiana Monroe and come back the next week and be the number one team in the country? <laughs> no, that is not going to happen whatsoever. It's not even going to be close. Granted, I'll admit, going into this this uh, season, I was scared about this game. I was kind of scared. A uh, game after coming off Western Kentucky, probably after a victory um, against Michigan. We might be overlooking the Hogs a little bit. And um, I thought Arkansas was going to be one of the better teams in the SEC and in the country this year. No, that is just absolutely changed. You do not lose to Louisiana Monroe one week and be the number one team in the country next week. I'm not afraid of Arkansas at all. At all. Um, and reports coming out that it's unlikely that Tyler Wilson is going to play this this Saturday because he got hurt um, in that ULM game. I mean, granted, you got to give the Hogs some some uh, sympathy there because they played the second half without their starting quarterback Tyler Wilson. But with playing in the SEC with the SEC depth, who, it doesn't matter who you're playing at quarterback. You got Nile Davis and a decent offensive line. And weapons around him. You should not lose. No matter who you are in the SEC, no matter if you're Kentucky, Vandy, you should not lose to ULM with your second and third stringers. That just does not happen. That does not happen at all. And it's not just the ULM game that was pretty pathetic. Arkansas was struggling with Jacksonville State. Jacksonville State in their first game, they gave up 24 points to Jacksonville State. I think in the second quarter of that game, Jacksonville State was only down by seven. It was a close game until halftime. And then the SEC, the SEC uh, physicality came into play, and they just ran away with the game. But still, 24 points against Jacksonville State. Um, I guess all you can say is it's been a short ride for John L. Smith, and um, he does not get past this season because it's not going to get any better this Saturday when the Alabama Crimson Tide roll into Fayetteville and beat Arkansas. Well, probably two or three touchdowns. I'm not even going to lie. Um, if this was the week before last, I'd be saying a victory probably about seven, not seven, ten points. But no, given this a four, two to three touchdown victory for Alabama Crimson Tide, we're going to run all over the Arkansas defense. The Arkansas defense is absolutely pathetic. I mean, like I said, 24 points, 24 points to Jacksonville State, and then you give up 34 to ULM. I mean, not even Tyler Wilson shouldn't even have been a factor in this game. I mean, the 28 points they had before Tyler Wilson was out should have been plenty enough for them to beat ULM. But no, their defense is so terrible they give up 34 points, 34 points to Louisiana Monroe. Granted, granted, the quarterback for ULM was really good, but still, that should not happen against the SEC defense. And um, one of the main things that were talked about the Hogs this offseason was Nile Davis is coming back, and he's supposedly, supposedly one of the better, better running backs in the SEC. Some even say better than Eddie Lacy. Some say he's on par with Marcus Lattimore. That's, no, <laughs> no, that's not the case. I mean, the two games he's played so far is Jacksonville State and Louisiana Monroe. And in those two games, he has 34 carries for only 132 yards. That's a 3.9 average per carry for for Nile Davis, and that's not supposed to happen against that poor of a competition. You're not supposed to lose against that poor of a competition. Dennis Johnson has better stats right now than Nile Davis. Um, but all i got to say is, Hogs, up. you better hope that Tyler Wilson plays this Saturday. If he doesn't play this Saturday, it's going to get completely ugly, just ugly as possible. In Fayetteville this weekend. I mean, come on, man. Alabama is going to be on game day for two of the three weeks of foreign college football. But no, you Hog fans, well, Arkansas has got to go screw it up. And now I think game day is going to Tennessee, Florida. I mean, that looks good as a pro for a program like Alabama to be on game day two or three weeks. That means out of two of the three weeks, they had the best matchup in college football. But no, Arkansas is going to go and screw it up. I mean that what type of that would have brought so much publicity to Fayetteville for Arkansas recruiting, but no, you wouldn't screw it up and lost to Louisiana Monroe. And if any Hog fans are out there that think they're actually going to hang with Alabama this Saturday, they're just absolutely delusional, idiotic, and just stupid. Just absolutely stupid because that's that's not going to happen. 
AJ will have a have a great game just like he did against Western Kentucky. Heck, I think Western Kentucky's defense is probably better than Arkansas's. Arkansas, Western Kentucky sacked Alabama six times. I mean, if Arkansas does that, I will be absolutely just shocked out of my mind because it's it, I just know for a fact it's not going to happen because Arkansas defense is absolutely poor. It's absolutely poor and terrible. Won't be surprised if Arkansas loses to Alabama. I won't be surprised if Arkansas starting this game loses three in a row against Alabama, Rutgers, and Texas A&M. That would not surprise me one bit because Arkansas uh, just absolutely proved me completely wrong on a program and how they were. I thought they were going to be one of the better teams in the SEC this year, but no. From when I've seen these two games, they have a subpar offense. They're missing Bobby Petrino more than people expected, and their defense is probably the worst or one of the worst in the SEC, probably on Ole Miss's level. Um... So, this weekend should be no problem for the Crimson Tide going into Fayetteville. I say Alabama wins this game 30, 38-14 over Arkansas. It's going to be a blowout in Fayetteville. Number one, Crimson Tide is going to get out of this with no problem heading into the next game against Florida Atlantic. So, I um, guess that's it, guys. No problem for uh, Alabama this weekend. I'll see you later. As always, roll tide, go Sox, and go Titans. See you. See you.